came to visit my friend two years ago over here to Aarhus and we came to Copenhagen and I found Denmark a very nice country even though it was very bad weather. So I wrote on Google uh, Technical University Denmark and of course what I got, I got Technical University of Denmark. I think DTU is recognised for its high academic standards and it's also recognised for its ambitious and hard-working students. People don't come to DTU if they don't want to work. What surprised me the most was probably the fact that all the buildings are in a kind of grid coordinate system. Now this is like really engineering. I mean, of course an engineering school will be set up like a coordinate system. The first impression that Denmark gives to me is it's really beautiful and peaceful. And uh, I think it's a really good place for you to study because the beautiful scenarios will uh, inspire you to study, I think, at least to my opinion. Well, the students by themselves here are very, very hardworking. So even if someone is lazy and comes to this country, if he sees everybody around him working really, really hard, I mean, sooner or later he's going to get affected and he's going to do the same thing. I mean, that's, that, 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 that's what actually happened to me. New students, they can expect to have direct access to our teachers, they can expect to have access to excellent equipment, the best new colleagues, new friends. They can expect to have an international network that they can use ahead. And they can certainly also expect to exit with a world-class education that will allow them to get the kind of job that they dream to get. I can definitely say that I like this idea of collaborative learning. There's this idea of group work and working in pairs and in groups to kind of solve problems together. And it also helps you work well with others, which as an engineer, that's what you're going to need to know how to do. DTU has got this reputation that all of the professors, you, you call them by their first names. There's no hierarchy level. Or they don't have to call me sir or any strange things. In the beginning I felt strange calling the teacher, not you know, Mr. Professor, maybe you could help me a little bit. It's like, yeah, I need some help. <laughs> so I think the attitude here at DTU is that we embrace everyone. We have a, 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 an international environment that's also a global environment and it's easy to tell. By, by just looking around. We uh, encourage active contribution. So if you're willing to do that, please come. It's precisely this multiculturality. Uh, many different points of view, many opportunities uh, regarding teaching, activities with uh, companies, industrial cooperation. So it's, it's a experience very close to the reality they are going to find when they finish their studies. I believe that to have international students gives a quality, a lift to the DTU, as well as uh, we believe it gives a lift to the individuals who come here. Mainly it's ambition and hard work, but it's also you're also here to have fun and you're also here to enjoy an important part of your life. From a study at DTU, um, I would say you have endless possibilities. Um, engineering students from, from DTU are known to be uh, very dedicated and motivated and are highly appreciated around the world. And this is of course something they find extremely interesting. Okay, we don't be in laboratories that much of civil engineering, but my friends from biology, they say that's great. It's always open, it's 24-7, so people are just sometimes staying overnight in university, you know, it's strange, but yeah, they do. <laughs> Students thinking about coming here should 
really get ambitious and know that they will have the possibility to fulfill their ambitions. And that's the exciting thing about teaching people who want to become top quality engineers. As a DTU engineer, you make things work. Live DTU. <laughs> I could say come and live DTU. <laughs> you will not regret, nobody will regret. I don't think so.